I wasn't planning on doing any filming at the place that I'm stopped today. I just got here. This is a mud dwelling though, and uh, I <laughs> am just amazed. You can smell the smoke in it. Imogene was actually nervous in uh, coming in here originally. Wow. Wow. Looks like a bed. Uh, cold storage, maybe? Beds, food hanging up. Absolutely, they have had ceremony in here. I feel like I could live here. <laughs> wow. Ooh, a saddle. and a bear skin covering the entrance. Come on. First, she wouldn't go in. Now she, I think she's worried about the skin. Come on, come on, it's okay. It's okay, love, love. It's okay, you got it, you got it. Yeah, she was nervous about that. So this is the outside since I've committed to this. It's a mound of dirt. It's a dirt hut. River Villages Trail. Okay. 200 years ago. Wow. We're taking a walk. And of course, there's a garden. It's gonna catch my eye. This is the Knife River Indian Village National Historic Site. And they have planted a garden. There are gardens everywhere in my path. I'm so glad you're here with me. I cannot, I cannot remember the last time that I turned this on. I'm gonna guess though that it was uh, when I was feeling victorious of remembering to turn on the camera when I broke down on the side of the road and it seemed to be an easy fix and this and that. And uh, uh, guess what? <laughs> it looks like, um, you know, it's my turn to have one of those breakdowns that uh, might tie me up for a little bit. And uh, so it's like, okay, so here is me uh, showing you and also in showing you practicing very mindfully on how I'm going to deal with this. And, uh, <laughs> um, and so far, you know, it's been, it's been going good. And I'm just going to say all of it because it's only in retrospect that any sense could be made of, uh, you know, events and how they unfolded and how, you know, and all that. All right. So. I'm writing down 94 um, within eight hours of where I'm going to make my next connection and my uh, next meet a next friend, a friend and spend some time with them. And, <laughs> and I need a guess. So I like, Oh, you know, gas. Oh, Jamestown. Oh, my son's name is James. Got to go there. Think came into town, um, within a little bit of where I was going to go in the gas station. All of a sudden I got a ding of overheating again. I have checked the coolant. I want to say this up front since I got that fixed. Um, it's turning out though that it's a bigger problem than 
what it is. And I think that what happened was that the patch that the uh, service person did at the Eagle Tire, um, you know, he said, you know, I did the best I can, you know, just keep an eye on it, keep an eye on it, keep an eye on it. And I think what happened is that when I was driving, going up and down a lot of hills, <coughs> you know, it's very hot out here. Um, you know, it just burst because there was so much pressure. And, okay, red light, I mean, you know, I, ding, oh, uh, an abandoned Taco Bell or something like that. Right there, bing, right there. Level. <laughs> it was in a direction that my so solar panels would get sun. And I said, okay, no problem. I'm going to, I'm going to MacGyver us. And if you, uh, if that doesn't, you know, might just be my generation. Look it up. It's a MacGyver show, but this is the female <laughs> version of it. Uh, I already decided that if it sprung a leak, uh, I had the things. I had a plan B. I had uh, E6000 um, glue that I uh, used to glue gems on Katie's uh, dance costumes, and those suckers were on there a lot. And gems are plastic, so that the reservoir is plastic. So put that on there. Let it, oh, I'm probably shouting. <laughs> I'm so, I didn't think I'd have enough energy to tell you. And now I'm getting excited about it because it really is like, damn, I was prepared. Put the glue on, but I made sure, got all the grease off. I put alcohol on it, let it dry, you know, did it again. Put the, put the, uh, you know, that really good Bondi glue on there and let it sit for 45 minutes. So then I took uh, pieces of towel and I wrapped it all um, around the little stem coming out of the plastic uh, reservoir. And then I have three ACE bandages, but I took two of them and I bandaged up all that. So that it, it, you know, it was like a wound, you know, I was treating a wound and I am treating a wound. Um, and so just about when I was finishing, I, I'm saying, really, I was turning around and getting ready to start picking up my stuff. This old truck comes in with a gentleman who, you know, about my age, he said, I used to be a mechanic. Um, and he comes out and I said, uh, you know, I'm doing the MacGyver's thing on it. <laughs> what do you think it is? Or, you know, something like that. And I just gave him a brief synopsis and as brief as I could. That. So he turned it on and looked at it and he saw that there were bubbles in the reservoir where the um, coolant goes in. And he said, wow. And so he's like, okay, turn it off. He oh. did it while I got to look. So now I know what it looks like. So it just, it looks like air bubbles all around the, the water line. And what that means is a head gasket, like air is, you know, getting into it. So it's not a small repair. And it's not the largest repair. And um, I'm going to, um, you know, I'm just going to say that I am doing the best I can with these repairs. And I'm due. And I'm getting emotional about it. But we're going to, mm, we're going to, we're going to do this. Um, right now, I needed a few provisions. Uh, I called my backup system. I wanted to, also, I want to reassure you that I have a backup system. Um, called them alerted everything, you know, we have done some conf confab and some little coordination and collaboration on things. Um, and, uh, you know, interestingly enough, and I think it's because I'm supposed to be sharing the story with you, is that um, because of these gas prices, you know, I really, you know, I faith in a, you know, faith in a, here's a practice, Diane. And uh, I've been in bigger uh, scrapes than this and gotten out of it. So, um, you know, it's kind of like, okay, so now <laughs> I got to do it publicly. <laughs> um, here's, here's the sitch as we stand right now. Um, I have to hang around here for, uh, four days, uh, because that is the uh, earliest that I can even be seen at a place. Um, in the meantime, um, and then, you know, parts, you know, however long that takes and stuff like that. Okay. So in the meantime, um, the Ford dealer and another place could get me in like next Friday. So in, uh, you know, conference with my support system, I, uh, we decided collectively that, uh, making that other appointment, um, just in case, you know, so that we're not locked in. We have a plan B. We have a plan B from the plan B. 
and uh, and that is really uh, what uh, you know what I that's how I'm going to approach this is staying in the moment um, and always um, um, you know uh, c coming up with a plan B and maybe um, kind of seeing a plan C in the fogginess um, but but mostly trying to stay in the moment and and trust that I just have to think of the next thing I just have to think of the next thing like driving at night we only have the headlights on but we just trust that the road is still ahead of us that is my intention for this practice and I'm taking a look you along with me uh, you know let's try to have as much fun as possible with it um, okay so now here I am right this moment right this moment I'm halfway to a um, uh, reservoir Jamestown reservoir on the James River <laughs> uh, which has uh, free primitive camping um, there it's a first come first serve I can stay for up to 14 days so I'm gonna go out there it's a it's a you know it's a bit, well, by now it's about about six o'clock and um, I'm gonna go out and I drove halfway it's it, it just got the heat just got up to the not even to the halfway point but I pulled over and I'm just waiting for the engine to cool basically and then I'm gonna head out again I think I'm less than five miles away and then I stopped a couple times on the way here I'm within like two miles. It's a gravel road. Thank goodness it's not getting dark. But I'm going to turn around and let you see. It's, you know, it's okay. Got a, a seagull leading us. Come this way. I'll show you. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? Turn right on 29th Street Southeast. Continue for one mile. Temperature holding steady. We've been driving for about five minutes. And uh, this is a pretty narrow road, but uh, if I have to uh, pull over, I will. And we'll just sit here until it cools down. That was the wrong road to take. Back out. Still doing okay temp. Yep, still doing okay temp. Just going to go slow. Okay. We'll see. What if there's a space for us? Looks like it's boondocky. Oh my goodness. Well, we shall see. I hope so. Nesty is not overheating, but I don't want to push it too far. So far, I have seen no, no camping signs. Pack in, pack out. Yep. Looks like maybe it is. There's a little outhouse. I just need to be, this is southeast, so I need to be that way. All right, I gotta concentrate. See you in a bit. Accommodations for the next four days. Pretty sweet. On a little point. I was gonna go down lower, but then I thought, you know, if it starts raining, I wanna be on high ground, so I am thinking. That is a paved road. Not a highway per se, but there's a fair amount of ca cars that go there. So I got one bar here and I'm tucked in for four days and I'll let you know if I move. to reposition the van trying to just soak every amount of uh, sun rays I can and I'm starting to make a little progress finally probably due to the fact that there is no trees around here and I'm up on changing things around but the uh, I saw Imogene playing with this and then drag it outside. I heard her under the van 
And now she's left bare out here. <laughs> oh, bear. I got settled in here and was doing a lot more editing than I was taking of future <laughs> pictures. And it was quite comfortable. And then the clouds rolled in and it looked like it was going to be a pretty big soaker. And I was out in the middle of this big field. So I moved to a campground where I could plug in. Great decision. And another good decision was taking the advice of a stranger and deciding to stay put to get this repair done rather than to push on just because of got to push on. Arrived at the service center on the appointed day. No problem ordering the radiator reservoir. Following day I show up and everything is going well until it's realized that the hose connection that the, for the hose that goes between the reservoir and the radiator, a different connection since 2015. No problem. We're going to order it, come back the next day. I checked out of my campsite, so I was in a public park trying to figure out what I was going to do for the evening where I was going to stay when there was a knock on the window, and it was Steve, the person that encouraged me to hang around town and get this thing fixed rather than drive off into the sunset. Steve offered his driveway for me to stay overnight. And then as an extra Benny, he's also a gardener. This is the miracle of travel. So the soil must be good here. Did you have to do a lot to it? The soil? No, I just tilled it and then kept the weeds out. Wow. I try to keep the moths out. Got a fly swatter for that. I put the rosemary and mint. And that keeps the bugs away. Yeah. The rosemary and the mint. I don't like using herbicides. Yeah, that's not good for us. And this is um, broccoli that I already harvested. I had six heads of broccoli sure. already harvested and ate. Wow. I ate two of them right away. They're so delicious. <laughs> Probably before you got into the kitchen. And there's, <laughs> <laughs> there's two heads of cabbage that need to be picking that oh, pretty soon. See how big they are? Yes. Look at that. Doesn't matter where I go. Heart's still open, can I close? They go, Baby, let me breathe it now. They go, they go. Breathe it now. How, about how old do you think that tree is? It's probably over 150 years old. It's a willow. Wow. Weeping willow. Wow, wow, wow. Welcome to this one way ride. We've all on it, got to, got to. Give it a go, all we got is hope. Don't you, don't you know? Wipe the floor of yesterday You can change it anyway And you're never alone, never alone <laughs> Doesn't matter what they say Doesn't really matter what they do they go, Baby, let me breathe it now they go, they go. Breathe it now Doesn't matter where I go Heart's still open, can I close?
better Open your eyes, see the open sky 